I'm in Mineral Wells, uh, Texas today, uh, home of Limitless Air Racing, Justin Meters. Behind that hangar door there, Justin's getting to the uh, low and slow with uh, low and slow with the uh, Super Stole. Let's go take a tour. Justin Metters uh, with Limitless Air Racing. Uh, we uh, started as a Formula One race team and now we've kind of expanded into uh, airplane uh, fabrication building type stuff and uh, engine building. And what is what uh, model of Just is behind you here? That is a Just Aircraft Super Stole that we are, uh, we recently acquired it and uh, we're doing some major modifications. What, what kind of major modifications are you up to? Uh, the big one is the engine swap. We're going from a Rotex uh, 912 to the uh, Yamaha Sidewinder, and uh, we're hoping for about 400 horsepower out of that. Is that possible out of a Sidewinder? Yeah, they say that it's uh, it's possible to actually make more than that, but that's pretty good for reliability out of that horsepower. Of course, it's not for uh, extended periods of time, but uh, for 400 horsepower for a takeoff is definitely doable. So, Justin, how did you sort of receive or pick up this? this aircraft before like uh as far as stock configuration right uh it was basically a stock build airplane uh it, it was really nice build uh but it was we wanted to change some things about the aircraft so uh one of the first things we did was uh, rip off the engine uh we were to do yamaha up uh up to upgrade to it on for the horsepower upgrade and all that stuff um, it had a, uh, a factory um the original flap handle so we upgraded the flap handle uh, it's supposed to be a much better uh, feel for the flaps and uh, uh, installed, uh, had to design and install hand controls so I could fly the airplane uh, being a paraplegic pilot. Uh, so we have a complete system in here now with hand brakes and hand throttle and hand rudder. Um, <clears throat> we are upgrading the uh, floor pans in it uh, up front and in the baggage area to a little bit thicker material uh, just to make it a little more uh, sturdy on the floor in case we get a little uh, heavy footed in there. Uh, <clears throat> we had the uh, Acme Aero uh, overhaul the suspension which we haven't put back on yet uh, but it'll, they just went through it and made sure it was all in good shape. Uh, it used to have fabric up here in the front uh, all the way to the firewall and we cut it out uh, to add the uh, windows there for more peripheral vision uh, with a high angle of attack uh, landing. Uh, we also pulled the tail off of the aircraft uh, to have the uh, airfoiled tail uh, done on it. And what is the advantage of doing that over the stock? Right, so you have a, a you'll, you essentially end up with a more powerful tail on the airplane uh, for slow speeds and for uh, uh, more tail authority. Um, and, and it's supposed to make the uh, super stall, uh, uh, it flies better uh, in, in cruise flight as well. Um, I, they usually fly with a little bit tail low and this gets it more you know, to a level out attitude in flight. So what is that added essentially a symmetrical rib to it versus a flat top and bottom? Right. Yeah, it was it was just a completely flat tail uh, from the factory on this aircraft. Uh, just does make an airfoil tail, but this one didn't have that tail. So we're uh, having uh, having it upgraded to the uh, to the airfoil tail. Now, I think you mentioned also that it had a, a, a different tailwheel and you decided to opt for something else there? Yeah, the tailwheel that came on it, you know, that was in the factory kit, uh, it, it had some issues. The, the uh, tailwheel pivot, the caster pivot on it was all, uh, the bushings were all worn out in it. So uh, instead of rebuilding it, we just went with the, uh, like a Tundra Lot tailwheel to put on here. It's a little, the tire's a little wider and it's a really nice uh, tailwheel. So that's what we swapped it out to that. Okay, and obviously with the Super Stall, you've got the slats that come out, which this has got some beautiful polished aluminum on it. Is there anything you, you plan to do to the airfoil on the wings and to get some more lift? Or uh, we're definitely gonna we're gonna test fly it the way it is, and then we're gonna uh, start testing with VGs and things like that to see if we can improve uh, the perf the stall performance with it. Um, there's a <clears throat> uh, some guys that are doing uh, VGs in the flap cove to actually uh, they say that it improves the uh, the performance of the flaps and then we'll probably add fences on the flaps which is also uh, supposed to have help the stability and low uh, low airspeed flight but with a high angle of attack it's supposed to be you know make the airplane quite a bit more stable and then the uh, the new tail will also have uh, 
fences on the end of the uh, of the horizontal, which is supposed to add some stability as well to the aircraft. Go back in the inside for a minute. You said you you want to do a custom panel. Mm -hmm. What's going to go in here? Right. So um, this panel. Uh, was what the airplane came with, so we were gonna uh, kind of get rid of all this, and uh, we're gonna put uh, MGL EFIS in on the uh, on the left side, and then in the middle will be our engine monitor for the Yamaha, and then we'll probably put a uh, flush mount uh, iPad on this side, uh, just <clears throat> for more uh, situational awareness on any flights where we're going, you know, away from the airport, um, and then uh, just basic, you know, everything else will be circuit breakers and switches and stuff, nothing other than that in there really. You want to, while we're in here, explain what you've done here with the hand controls and some bell cranks or sure. whatever here? Yeah. The geometry mm -hmm. for this, how it works. Right. So this is the, the handle here, which is forward and back movement for a left and right rudder. And that goes up and links in with the uh, rudder pedals. And then underneath uh, all the control here, we have, uh, we have a push rod running across the two bell cranks. And those uh, bell cranks have push rods that then run up to the rudder pedals. And that all that all the bell cranks and those push rods do is essentially close the loop on the system so you can push and pull on one side uh, to get your left and right rudder. And then we upgraded to larger diameter uh, rudder cables uh, to just to have a nicer rudder cable. The, the factory cables were a little smaller diameter, so we upgraded those for a little bit stronger rudder cables. Let's get into the, the true mission of this plane. Not, not that it's changing a whole lot because it is a stole aircraft, but the reason why you, you bought this, what, what is the big plans for this airframe? Uh, the main plan for this airplane is we're gonna do still competitions with it. So we, that's why we want the big horsepower so we can keep up with guys like Steve Henry, maybe we'll see. He's got a big head start on us. So we'll, it'll take some work to get to where he's at uh, and, and a lot of practice flying with it too. Um, standard, uh, you know, traditional stole competitions and then possibly some uh, stole drag stuff with it as well. I'll have to figure a few other things out because there's so much going on that I'll have to do with my hands and a stole drag in such a quick amount of, you know, short amount of time. So we'll see about that. We, we have some ideas uh, for that too, but uh, mainly traditional stole to start with. And then of course we have some cool uh, sandbars on the rivers around here that we're going to go play on too, just so we can actually have a lot of fun flying this airplane. So what are the, uh, the one of the first events you're going to try to catch this year? Because you're, you're making really good headway already, right. so this thing should be back in the year soon. Where right. can we see this in person uh, elsewhere? Sure. Uh, well, we'll definitely we're definitely trying to trying to make uh, Oshkosh with it for the stall competition there, and then the uh, the Wayne America fly-in uh, up in Wayne, Nebraska. We're hoping to make it to that, and that'll have that event has traditional stall and stall drag. So. Maybe we'll do both there. I don't know. We'll see. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net. The Aviators Clinic at AviatorsClinic.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com. Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. The hot topic these days is engines, and the Yamaha seems to be gaining traction with uh, right. this style of airframe. So, um, what? Talk about what you know about the Yamaha so far, as far as the stock installation, and how are you going to get to over 300 horsepower or right. over 400 horsepower? Is it? Yeah, it's right at 400. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. So, a lot of this stuff, I've, uh, you know, Steve Henry is kind of the uh, the guy on the, with the Yamaha stuff. So. Over uh, the past several years, I've become friends with Steve and his family, and he's helped me a ton uh, with just answering questions and telling me what he's using and that kind of thing. He's super open about what he's doing, uh, which has been a huge help and benefit to me on this, you know, to do to do a Yamaha conversion on this. Uh, not too many guys are running the, uh, running the uh, Sidewinder engine yet, so he's kind of pioneering that engine for these aircraft. 
Uh, I'm sure someone out there is using them. And then, of course, the uh, Scottrax gearbox. That's a huge benefit, too, because if you don't have a gearbox, you can't really run something like that. So that's a, that's a big deal for the engine. Um, and then we're doing, you know, we, it's, it's a custom exhaust because no one makes an exhaust for it to, to, for the turbo. And that's the big thing. So to go from stock to what we're trying to do, it's it's a lot. It's a different turbo. It's different injectors. It's different computer wiring is different. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Even the fuel rail. You're changing the fuel rail because it just, you know, to make it more reliable and and not something that's going to break on you in flight. You want something that's obviously very strong. Um, so going from the 200 horsepower ish factory setup right. to over 400 is is everything exhaust intake mm -hmm. fuel injection fuel supply to get there right it is it's really so the only the only really uh thing that you can do with this engine or that you don't have to do with this engine is they're very is a very strong bottom end in this engine so you don't have to actually go in to the engine to make 400 horsepower but if you want to go beyond that so some some of the snowmobile racing guys where just where this engine comes from they'll fully build the engine and make a lot more power than that but we i think somewhere in the 450 to 500 horsepower range is kind of the limit on these airframes anyway uh, so i think 400 is going to be pretty impressive with this airframe now, are you trying, are you planning on flying this thing without the cowling like Steve often does? Or are you can do some custom cool cowling on the on the front of it. Right. Um, I will probably try to use the cowling. Uh, we have the 912 cowling. I don't know if that's going to fit or not. I don't really want to Frankenstein it too much, uh, just to make it look weird. So I think the 914 cowling that just has will fit probably. Um, but if it doesn't fit, I will just fly it without a cowling for test flights and stuff like that. If we can't make something work out, I'll just no cowling. All right, so explain uh, just a couple minutes what Limitless uh, is as far as the racing aspect of it and, sure. and you and your uh, experience with competing because uh -huh. you're still going to be competing just a lot slower. Right. Uh, so my uh, air racing background is Formula One air racing uh, like you see in Reno. Uh, that's how Limitless Air Racing started. I was building a Formula One race plane uh, that we took to Reno for the first time in 2018 and then won the uh, gold championship that year with that airplane, and then it, have won it uh, three times total uh, since building that airplane and taking it to Reno. And then a second place finish in there somewhere too. But uh, so had good luck with that airplane. And then uh, now we're kind of, I'm, I will still be racing Formula One. So that'll still be my main race focus. Uh, but this is just uh, kind of a more, um, I don't know, a little bit more laid back and not as high stress and, and I can just go fly this airplane around and have fun with it. So that's kind of kind of the big reason for doing this was just more of a fun activity and, and can compete with it also. Tell everybody uh, the engine that you're used to running in the uh, Formula One and the kind of RPMs and horsepower that you're getting. Oh right, so with the, uh, uh, with the Formula stuff we all have to run the same uh, Continental O200 engine uh you know stock that's a 100 horsepower engine and then we go through and you know we balance everything and everything is just uh cleaned up and and all the tolerances are perfect on them and we're turning them about 4500 rpms which stock i think is 2750 i believe is stock and so we run a much shorter prop so we can turn that kind of rpm with a pretty hefty pitch on it and then we're making a lot of guys you know uh that run a more stock engine are probably making somewhere in the 150 range all the way up to somewhere probably around 200 horsepower with a engine that was designed to be 100 horsepower if somebody wanted to follow you in this build and your racing where can we go sure. to follow you online uh on uh, instagram and facebook uh i have uh pages on both of those and it's uh, limitless air racing on 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 either one just search limitless air racing you should be able to find it on there perfect all right we'll have to do a follow-up as this thing grows and becomes louder and louder <laughs> it will be loud for sure we'll have an open header like uh, like steve runs on this thing so it should be pretty loud